I'm starting with you. We're six days from kickoff. Are we any closer to Lamar having a deal? Yeah. He's about to take the practice heel today, and they're still not closer to a deal. I'm checking on this this morning. The people I'm talking to remain skeptical that something is going to get done. Guaranteed money remains a sticking point. This is set up right now for a two-year standoff, potentially, with the franchise tag in play next year. Let's make sure I'm clear on what you're saying. You're saying that if this doesn't get done in the next six days, we are very likely not only looking at this year, but maybe next year as well for Lamar and the Ravens doing this dance. Yeah, no doubt, because we're looking at Sunday. Lamar Jackson himself has said, I want a deal. If we're going to do it, mm -hmm. it needs to be by week one. Now, that doesn't preclude the Ravens from trying in season. They've done other contracts in the past, but right now there's not much momentum before Sunday to get this done. Explain that to us, Mike T. Why is it if you're the team that you want to make sure – it's not just Lamar saying this, but the team also wants this business piece of it done by Sunday. Why? Greeny, you don't want a distraction, especially you're talking about your franchise quarterback who represents himself. So instead of worrying about cap numbers and cash flow and guarantees, you want want him to be worried about your net New York Jets in terms of that's their opening day opponent. So it becomes a massive distraction. Jeremy's right. There is a deadline. It's really in both sides' best interest, Green, to get this deal done, get certainty for the Ravens for the next five, seven years, whatever it may be and give Lamar Jackson the guarantee that he is richly deserves. And if it doesn't get done, it becomes a distraction, and you want to put it to the side. Mike T., as a person who's been in those rooms where it happens, judging from all the things that we have seen, what is your read of the tea leaves? Do you feel like they're, they are going to get this done before Sunday? No, because of the graphic we're looking at. Deshaun Watson at $230 million in the same division who has had very well-documented off-field issues is a massive sticking point. When you talk to people around the league, Greeny, Lamar Jackson is saying, I'm a league MVP. I've been impeccable off the field. I'm not taking a nickel less in guaranteed money than $230 million. And according to a lot of people, that's why this deal isn't done. And I don't think it'll get done between now and Sunday. Well, that's the complicated piece of this. The, the, the Deshaun Watson deal in Cleveland is either an outlier or it's a precedent. And I think if I'm Lamar, I'm saying, well, it can be both. <laughs> it can be an yeah. outlier, but it's also a precedent. It's not my fault that they went and did this deal. Yeah. Either way, That's Sacho, I want to ask you this from a player's perspective, because we've talked about this as sort of a theoretical possibility. But this is now the reality. Yeah. He is six days away from starting a season, from setting foot on that field and going in harm's way without the contract extension. Are we okay with that? We're definitely okay with that. It's, and that, that Deshaun Watson contract it has to be the precedent. Every other contract has been the precedent. And so for me, if I'm, if I'm Lamar Jackson, I'm telling you what I want. I want this guarantee. And you got to get there, period. I'm willing to play. If you want to put me on a franchise tag later, I'm willing to do that. You want to do it again? I can do that. We saw Kirk Cousins do it. We've seen this happen before. And so I'm totally okay with Lamar Jackson playing this season without a contract. It's up to the Baltimore Ravens to say, hey, we'll give you what you want because we believe in who you are yeah. as our leader and as our future of our franchise. I think he should take the first week off to consider it. I really do. I strongly believe <laughs> he should take week one to just ponder uh, and, again, I want nothing but the best for him. But I, week one, I think, is a just little soon. Week. I think that the, the Jet game, they don't need him. I, I think he needs to just take this time away, go think this thing through, and then come back Not after week happen. one. That, that, to me, I think is – that's just my unsolicited advice. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.